unusual sight to wake up to. Filmed here by two unsuspecting Australian sailors, 150 square kilometres of pumice stone, the size of Manhattan, floating in the South Pacific. As far as I could see, the sea had turned to this, this uh, field of stone. Some pieces the size of basketballs. If we were standing on the beach, for example, looking at this pumice, it would go to the horizon. Scientists say the mega raft, spotted by NASA satellites, is the result of an underwater volcanic eruption near Tonga in early August. The phenomenon said to occur just twice a decade. It's now reached Fiji. These pictures show the pumice hugging the coastline. Australian scientists have begun studying the raft, predicted to reach our shores by early next year. They're hoping as it travels, it will bring with it an array of sea life, from small animals to algae and coral, and help replenish the Great Barrier Reef. Bringing billions and millions of individuals in at once to be able to find a new home, add to the existing uh, populations that are here. It was just last month the Australian government downgraded the health of the reef, which has lost more than half of its coral. In the last few years alone, the UNESCO World Heritage Site has suffered six cyclones and two major coral bleaching events. And while scientists say the raft is not a cure for the ailing reef, it's a glimmer of hope for one of Australia's most iconic landmarks. Just giving that, that extra boost of new numbers to help replenish and restore the reef. Amelia Dunn, SBS World News.